Hello and welcome to a new episode of Debut Diaries. I'm Lizelle Sambri. I'm a traditionally published author and this Debut Diaries series is basically all about me talking about my experience of being a debut author during debut year and how that goes. I've talked about a range of different topics. I've talked about pre-pub marketing. I've talked about the cover reveal process. I've talked about debut groups and like what they are and why you would want to join join one as a debut author and all sorts of different topics. So you can check over here if you want to see the playlist of me talking all about all of those and check out all those different videos. But today I am discussing post debut feels, uh, basically like what it's like being a post debut. I'm going to talk about some of the things that are different, some of the things that I think are better um, about like discussions I've heard about post debut feelings with authors and also what my personal experience has been like so far and what I'm expecting in the future as I get more post debut because right now I'm a little over a month uh, post debut and of course that will just increase as the year goes on and so talking about a little bit of what I expect in the future as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Firstly, let's begin with uh, some of the positivity. What is better post debut? Uh, I was actually looking forward to a lot of things after my book came out. So there was a lot for me to look forward to, but the big things were being able to go into a bookstore and see my book in there. Sometimes you could do that before, but I couldn't, I had to do it after. Um, and that was really amazing. And like getting to sign copies and signing copies for like friends and that sort of thing. That was really cool. Um, and seeing it reach readers, like having the general public be able to read the book and you know I haven't gotten to interact face to face with readers really um, but it's been great to see online like positive reviews and photos and things like that that people have posted and talked about and discussing how they've enjoyed the book that's something that's been really great um, because pre-debut some people had arcs and so I was able to hear from some people but it's like the volume is a lot different <laughs> when it's out in the wider world so that's been really great and also just like when I tell people about the book they can immediately go and get the book <laughs> which is nice and also like the uh the loosening of pressure like there's so much build up to debut and like all these things that you're doing and all this content you're trying to make and like get out and you're trying to coordinate all these media things and like publicity and you're trying to get all this marketing and things ready to lead up to the book coming out because you want those strong first week sales and you want to get people excited and you want to get people out there and like actually getting your book so that they can read it <laughs> and so that's a lot of like lead up and pressure and like anticipation and I'm such an impatient person and so it's nice when that's over <laughs> because it's just like oh okay like a big release of breath it's out now and it's just like you have so much longer of a period promoting the book once it's already out than you do like promoting the book beforehand because even though I had the deal two years in advance like the promotion really, really didn't start until the cover came out, which was like five or six months before. Um, and so, yeah, now that the book is out, there's going to be, you know, at least I would hope like a full year of promotion around it. And, you know, when the sequel comes out, the sequel will also be promoting the first book because it's a series. So you'd have to read the first book to read the second one. Um, so it's nice to have that release of pressure as well. Now to talk about what goes away <laughs> after debut. Um, and this is to be like realistic. This might differ depending on how your book is performing and that sort of thing. Like obviously if you like hit the New York Times bestseller list or like hit a bestseller list, you may actually notice an increase in like media and that sort of thing and like more people wanting to be involved with the book. I don't know. I'm just guessing that that might be a thing that happens. Um, but I think, f you know, for me and my experience, there is a decrease in media attention. Um, and that's just because like, it's not my 
it's not my uh, debut month, so there's no like June antici anticipated list anymore. Um, and there's no like lead up to anticipated lists. Um, so that has slowed down and it's become more of like media in like people writing reviews of the book, which I don't read, <laughs> um, and that sort of thing. And like people engaging with the book after it's out or like organization of publicity things after the fact. Um, so I have noticed a decrease in that, but to me it's kind of been, um, in some ways it's nice to have things slow down a bit um, because of the sort of franticness of the pre-pub. Um, even though it's kind of like, oh, I'm not seeing as much coverage for my book, it's also like I'm also not doing as much publicity, um, which in some ways it's kind of nice to slow down and to have that. So that's definitely something that has changed, like the level, the number of events and publicity and the number of, uh, the amount of media coverage, I would say has definitely changed. Um, there's definitely a sort of like down dip, um, but not in a way that has made me feel like I've forgotten which is like a very good segue into talking about the fear of being forgotten. Uh, this is something I find comes up with uh, authors, uh, with debut authors and debut groups and that sort of thing. This difficulty of feeling like the lead up to your book is like here and then your book comes out and then it's just like plummet down and feeling like people have forgotten about you, that nobody cares about your book anymore, that, you know, it's that toxic debut culture where it's like the debut is so interesting and sexy and like, oh, debut book. And then once it comes out that everything drops off um, and suddenly there's nothing left for you. Um, and for me, I didn't really experience that and why I didn't experience it, that was because there were things planned after my debut that I knew were coming up in advance and that was really helpful for me because I had things that I could look forward to that I knew would be promotion for my book um, that I knew would let you you know be me talking about the book and engaging and be publicity or marketing or what have you and so I knew that everything wasn't going to end once my book came out. So like I knew the book was going to be the Indigo staff pick of the month for July and that was going to be announced in late June. So it was going to be after my debut, but I was going to have this like nice like surge of like good news. Um, and I knew that I was going to be participating in the SSC goes to camp. So the Simon and Schuster goes to camp where they did those Instagram stories and we did that panel at the end together. Um, I did that with Nafisa Azad and Sarah Souk um, and that was moderated by Dyla and you know in partnership with Indigo as well and so I knew that was happening there are some things that I know are happening in the future event wise as well and so knowing that I had those things coming up really soothed me and so I didn't feel like people were going to forget about my book once it was out because I knew that I was going to keep doing promotion I was going to keep having things down the pipeline I will say that this depends. Um, I did have things that were set up and ready down the pipeline. That might not always be the case. Um, and so I think it's very understandable that like different authors will have very different feelings about that depending on kind of what they have going on. Um, and publishing is so unpredictable. <laughs> it's so like ad hoc in that way. Like you can have some publishing news that springs up out of nowhere and then suddenly you're like, oh my gosh, I've got this big thing that I can reveal to people in however months time and you know that's going to spring up momentum. But then there can also be the case in which it feels like you have nothing happening or nothing going on. Um, that maybe you have one or two odd things but it doesn't feel like enough to feel like you're having momentum. Um, in which case I think that can be difficult because then you kind of have to create your own momentum. You know, you like plan to have a giveaway like a month after your debut so you can have something like that to pick up or you plan to like take some extra nice pictures of your book or like do a little like 
photo shoot thing with your book a couple months down the road so that you have that to pick up um, and kind of getting those things ready because that is really what I had originally planned for in order to avoid that feeling was I was like okay so like a month after I'll like do a giveaway I'll do this and that um, but then I ended up having enough going on that I've kind of been <laughs> pushing things out over time um, so yeah that was definitely a fear that I know that circulates um, among debut authors and that is real and I think even among authors that are not debut that just have their book come out I think it's a really natural feeling to kind of be like oh my gosh well now um, what might happen you know I also want to talk a bit about how priorities have changed between the pre-debut and the post-debut um, so pre-debut I feel like my priorities were very much like however much promotion I could do to help drum up you know interest um, and to help kind of provide content to get people who are already following me excited about the book's release um, like hoping for pre-orders and it was very very focused on those first week sales um, now post debut first week sales are over but I continue to have access to sales data because Simon & Schuster has an author portal which you can check your sales data um, which I know that I have probably checked too much because I am aware of the timeline I was like yeah so it's Saturday is the date they start at and I'm like by Wednesday all the data has loaded for the week like I know too much um, I really didn't want to be in there every week like but I am so I hope for that to ev eventually taper off I don't really want to get into the mindset of constantly checking my sales data but that's a different priority right your priority is shifted and now I have ongoing sales data and so I'm like, well, how is the book doing on an ongoing basis? Because I can see it. Um, but I definitely hope in the future to peter off and to really only be checking that every once in a while, just as like, aha, uh -huh, there you go. Um, but I'm also not checking in a way in which I expect what I am doing personally to affect those. Um, it very much feels like the sales are off. They're, they're off and they're their own thing. <laughs> and like I'm just observing them um, but that's a different you know that's a priority shift I also feel that I've shifted my priorities a lot more to my writing and my writing projects I think in the lead up there was a very strong focus on blood like magic and promoting it in social media and now I'm kind of getting back into okay I want to focus on the projects that I have coming up and like what I want to do in the future and the sequel that's coming up um, I've become a lot more ad hoc with my social media posting um, in the lead up to debut I had a very specific little calendar thing to make sure I was getting out all of the content that I had um, and now it's very much like you know if I have something to post then I post something um, if I haven't done anything in a couple days then I do try and do something I try and get something up there um, but I'm very loose with it you know I regularly do Instagram stories so that's not really a big thing to me um, but yeah it's become a lot more loose a lot more just kind of as stuff comes up posting about it um, because I'm so much more focused on like my writing and then like as I do events kind of promoting those events and promoting when people like um, take my book and things like that sharing all of those it's become a lot more passive in that way um, I don't feel like I'm like actively marketing because you can market it anytime now that it's out <laughs> I can post about anything about my book at any time and does it really matter if I do it like in this week or if I do it in the next week I can still regularly share things about the book so that's definitely a, a priority shift and now how does it feel to be post pub <laughs> for me it's very much I feel both free and aloft 
if that makes sense. Um, so it's very freeing to know that the book is just out there, um, that I'm not doing this flurry of lead up promotion to the book coming out, um, that I'm not like, when I tell people about the book, I'm like, and just wait until June 15th and then you'll get to pick it up. I'm like, just go and buy it. Buy it at any time you want. Buy it wherever you want <laughs> within the US and Canada and online uh, for international folks. Um, but there's a lot of freedom in that and like going into a bookstore and seeing my book there. Um, and just being able to like sign it and talk about it and like because more people have read it now you know when i do uh discussions and interviews and that sort of thing um now pretty much i believe every time i've done it like people have read the book and so it's nice to have those in-depth discussions um it, there's a lot of freedom in that and just being like it's out there get it if you want <laughs> um, so that's really nice and um yeah and like can like i was saying before you can promote whenever because you know the book has its own lifetime now and when the sequel comes out it will also naturally promote the first book as i said before um but then the aloft feeling <laughs> and the aloft feeling is i have no guidance i have no northern star um before this it was like i was i was focused on the pub date and everything was leading up to that pub date and everything was a milestone it was like bam here we got the title bam here we got the cover bam now we got you know these promotion things are happening and bam now we have an excerpt and like bam now i'm doing these podcast interviews it was just like everything felt like this milestone leading up to <laughs> and now it's just like oh like there's so much space because there's no like the milestone of like a month or two months or three months or six months or eight months or whatever after debut basically until i would say like a year after debut <laughs> like they're not different like a month after debut three months after debut six months after debut they're not really different from each other they're all after debut and there's nothing that's going to like happen on schedule like there's no like different cover reveal and things are very up in the air it's kind of like other things like foreign sales it's like those might happen uh paperback that might happen <laughs> you know there's no like static like this is the thing you're going towards um so it's very i do feel very aloft in that it's like what should i be doing question mark <laughs> like is there something i should do at this point and there isn't really necessarily a marker for that like i could do a big random like the week of blood like magic and post a different photo of the cover every day for a week. I could do that whatever. I could do that tomorrow. I could do that three months from now. I could do that six months from now. It doesn't truly matter. And so that's an interesting feeling because it really is just like I'm floating. And for me, a person who like thrives on deadlines and like structure like what i have clung to instead is my other writing projects because they do have firm <laughs> set things like my sequel um you know i have deadlines for that i have self-imposed deadlines for other projects you know there are certain like stop end times for them like okay this is on submission now or like this is now off to copy edits or line edits or proof pages, that sort of thing. And so I've been clinging to those instead. Um, but it is an interesting feeling because it's like you can always promote your book. And now that I am an author and I will have continuously have books coming out, I can basically forever promote my books until they go out of print, essentially. And then once they're out of print. But like, does a book ever really go well yeah it does it does until i go out of print but i think maybe that happens more rarely these days because of things like ebooks and audiobooks that can just exist online for a very long time but i think the like out of print for ebooks and audiobooks is like no one has purchased one for like several months and then it's like it can go out of print and the rights can revert to you that's a whole process but essentially like what i'm saying is the book has a long lifetime and it's so much longer than what came pre-pub um 
so yeah that's an interesting feeling for me um, but I do think it remains freeing because then I don't have to rush like I got some props um, that I got recently to like take pictures of my book um, and I can do that whenever and that's really freeing so if I don't have time this month to do that I can do it next month and it's totally cool so <laughs> that's uh, really the I guess the silver lining of that Finally, what do I expect in the future of this post-pub journey? Um, it will honestly completely depend. I expect that it will not depend on me, that it'll just depend on what the book does on its own um, and how that goes forward. Um, because I've written the book and I can't, I don't, to me, I am not influencing the performance of the book beyond that so um, it really is completely up in the air publishing is completely unpredictable you never know what will happen <laughs> down the line um, so that's kind of how I'm thinking of the future of the book and the future of the rest of my debut year is kind of anything can happen <laughs> And like what I can control is just whatever I put out there and I can do that whenever I like. Um, and it is interesting to think of how it might be different because right now I'm really only like a little bit over a month out from debut. I am still like the most baby of debut. Like I feel like people that came out in like January are like veteran debuts and I'm just like the little baby debut with my like month old rattle over here <laughs> in the corner um so I really don't know um because every book is different how they will perform or how things will change or what will happen will be different um and I'm just gonna basically be having to take it on that ad hoc basis, just seeing what happens. Um, but I do know, or I don't know, but I feel very strongly that once it gets to the point that like my sequel is going to have the cover reveal and the title reveal, that then I will like be pushed back into this debut cycle except i won't be a debut i'll be like a sophomore <laughs> but i'll be pushed into that second book cycle and that that will become my trajectory that will become my north star um and i will just be like okay now i'm focusing on this thing um even as i still do things as i come up for blood like magic um which i don't know what that'll be like it'll be in some ways it'll be nice to like rehab milestones <laughs> that are coming up but in some ways it'll like i don't know recreate that like oh now we're having the anticipation lead up but i think it'll be a lot better because most of my pain pre-pub with anticipation was because i didn't have any book out so if i ever talked about my work there wasn't anything really that people could get like i i published in a short story anthology through my university but i don't think you can just get that and also it's like very different from what i write now so yeah i think it'll be better in that way because if someone hears about my sequel i can be like hey check out that first book if you haven't already which is nice so there's definitely that to look forward to and that's really it for talking about post pub feels and how things are going post pub and like things that may come up and feelings that may happen um it's very interesting to be in this position it's also very interesting for this series because i'm kind of like oh where do i go from here though i did ask in my community tab if you all had things about debut year or like being a debut author that you wanted to see discussed in this series um and so i'm going to be looking over those and of course feel free to comment if there's anything you know watching this video that you want to know more about being a debut author uh, that you want to hear discussed in this series and I can definitely go into that um, but yeah I'm excited for the future <laughs> and um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe and thank you so much for watching bye